Okay, so I thought I'd show you a quick update of the uh, prop controller we've made for the Monster in the Box that we're making. What we've got here is up to eight relay channels. Yeah, so we've got relay one to four that I'm using. Five, six, seven, eight are actually spare at the moment. Um, we'll have two strings of RGB LED lighting within the box. So, as you can see on the timeline here, which shows the sound file, which is only uh, seven seconds long. Uh, LED strip one, and there'll be ten lights on LED strip one. So it'll go green, purple, move to red, and then to blue, and then black out. On LED two, we're going to be strobing from white to black. We're going to dim down the green, fade out, fade in, and then some yellow to orange transitioning, uh, and then just a little bit of multicolor rainbow there. Now on the relay side of it we have got a full block of on then off on off on off on full block of on then step in between on and off on and off on and off and a full block of on again and I've tried to synchronize these up so they're in the blocks of the sound so different sound a little bit of different animation just to make it so you can clearly see on the controller um, the, the app works by simply selecting a square to fill it in or you can drag a full block and that uh, like that and we can do that for colour as well so if we just select cyan there maybe put a bit of cyan in there and right clicking on them we'll dim that down You've got different levels of uh, brightness on the LEDs. There we go. And once that's uploaded to the controller, now this is just at the moment a very simple layout of it. It's yet to be put onto a PCB mounted in a box and such. But uh, like most controllers, we've got the serial MP3 player, little Arduino there, and uh, just four relays now. Like I say, it can take up to eight. So if I plug this in, we should see the sequence we've created pop up. Oh, I answer any triggers. <laughs> demo